In the previous lesson, we learned a way to connect to the customizer menu. And now we are back in the user menu, but this is just because we want to show uh, an alternative, a different way to, to get to the customizing. And of course, we will use what we call just the uh, transaction code. Now, I mean, this is important just to pay attention because this technique is not only used for a uh, just getting to the customizing menu, it of course uh, can also be used for a, any other transaction we for which we already know the transaction code. Uh, so, if you remember from the previous lesson, the transaction code for the customizing menu is uh, SPRO. And well, uh, for this, uh, just to use this, uh, we have to come all the way to the top left and uh, we have to click on the command field. And here, well, we just need to enter the code. After we have uh, finished entering this code, we can just click here on the icon that we have on the left. And now, as you can see, uh, the system will immediately show the first screen uh, for the execute project transaction. Uh, as we have been saying, especially in the previous lesson, we don't really want to use any of these projects uh, for the time being. So the only thing we need to do right now is we have to click the display reference IMG push button, or actually we can just click a uh, press F5 in our keyboard. And this will take us immediately to the customizing menu. Now, it is just important to analyze a bit how the customizing menu is set up. Because as you can see, we have, of course, multiple lines, which in, at the end, they're just nodes uh, that we can open and we can get to a path. And most of them, they just, uh, we have a reference to the main application modules. Uh, for example, here we have financial accounting, or if we like, keep scrolling down, for example, here we have production, we also have personal management, project system, but payroll, SAP banking, I mean, so many. Uh, and of course, uh, actually, we will have a look at some of them uh, in the coming lessons and even in other trainings. But right now, I just want you to pay attention to the first note, which is enterprise structure. And well, uh, this is just important because um, we want to open the path, but the customizing menu is a bit different from the user menu because we cannot just double click on the line. We have to come all the way to the left and here we have this icon which is like an arrow, a black arrow pointing right. So if we click that icon, then the system will just expand that section and also the, the icon changes now. It's uh, the same arrow but it's pointing down. And at first we don't see any application module, pretty much we only have well, def definition, assignment, well, and consistency check. But this is just because this is the section of the implementation guide that uh, if we are consultants, for example, we can just uh, use this to map everything that is happening happening in the real world, in, our, in the organization, to the system. Uh, for this, we have to use a concept developed by SAP, which is called Organizational Structures. And well, uh, to have a bit of a, a bit more a clear example, let's just open a definition. And actually, let's also uh, just open financial accounting. Here, for example, uh, we have multiple transactions, but we have one of the most important transactions, which is uh, edit, copy, delete, check company code, because, well, this is the transaction. A consultant uh, can just like use and uh, with this one we can create a, a new company code, for example. But after we have seen uh, in particularly particularly this transaction and some of the others, let's just close the node for financial accounting. And uh, well, just to close, of course, we have to come to the line and click on the icon and it, the system will just collapse that section. But well, uh, now let's just analyze a bit more of what is happening in the next nodes, especially let's, uh, for this, let's just open uh, controlling. And well, uh, as you can see, we have some other uh, transactions, but again, one of the most important is this one, the second one, which is just create an operating uh, concern, uh, because this is a uh, top level uh, organizational structure uh, that we use for profitability analysis. But also important, here we have the controlling area, which again, uh, is one of the really most important uh, organizational structures in this scenario for controlling. After we have seen this, uh, we can just close controlling and let's open Logistics General. 
because well here actually we have a very similar transaction similar to the create uh, company code a uh, transaction actually the text is very similar as you can see it's also define copy delete check but in this scenario it's now plant of course this is one of the most important organizational structures of logistics we can use it for different uh, just a scenario different logistic uh, purposes uh, for example we could use it to map a factory or maybe it's a distribution center. Uh, I mean, different uh, structures that we have in the real world, and that we can uh, that and that they play a, a, a really important role in logistics. So again, it is uh, really interesting to see that uh, the transaction is similar because, as you can see, we don't have a create option. It's a well, it's just defined. But that is just because most of the times we want to start from sc scratch, just uh, creating a. Um, a plant very similar to we don't just copy uh, sorry create a, a company code from scratch we most of the times actually we copy from a template so well just quickly we can just say that the company code is the most important organizational structure of uh, just the financial accounting application module for logistics the one of them or pre just the most important is the plant and for controlling the most important is the about the, well, the operating concern for profitability analysis and just uh, for overall costs the controlling area but well after we have seen this let's just close the notes up to definition and well now, what's uh, important for, for you to notice is that we have a uh, then assignment. And uh, here is where we were just, uh, we just want to be very clear. Uh, we had previously just mentioned uh, that this menu, the, the customizing menu, it's actually considered an implementation guide it, because SAP, just the team behind all of, uh, all of the uh, ERP, they created this to be exactly that, just a guide uh, that we can use this guide to implement the system. So, well, if you agree with me on the first note, the definition, we just go uh, uh, and, and create uh, some of the first activities that we need to, to accomplish. So, for example, it's just to define all of the organizational structures. And now, in assignment, we have to uh, just carry out a second logical step, which is um, building uh, and creating the relationship between these different organizational structures so well uh, actually it's uh, again like a bit like going step by step and well uh, it's really useful to understand the logic in which uh, that we have in the in the implementation guide because then we can just follow this logic and we can just use all of these to adapt the system to the customer specific requirements of every organization that has licenses to, to use SAP and that they need us to customize the system <laughs> exactly to their needs, to their requirements. But well, um, let's just uh, analyze a bit better this uh, section, the assignment section. So um, let's open, of course, the path. And as you can see, it has a similar structure in which we have uh, different lines and most of them are like just like uh, application modules. But uh, for example, Let's uh, open just one of the uh, paths, for example, uh, financial accounting. And as you can see, we have different kind of transactions here. Actually, for example, here, all of them are assigned. Because again, the idea is that we can just use all of this to create uh, these um, uh, links, these those relationships between the organizational structures. Now, well, uh, just to be like a bit like, and to be clear, let's just analyze, for example, the uh, for example, assign company code to a financial management area transaction because uh, actually the name is super clear, I would say. Uh, if we run this transaction, the idea behind all of this is just to create a link between one existing company code to one existing financial management area. And this is actually done specifically for um, uh, if we're using a... Uh, uh, funds management and just to control even like some things about the budget. Uh, so well, definitely uh, important for us to see that we can just uh, keep using all these transactions to create these links. Actually, just to keep uh, the analysis going, let's uh, close the financial accounting and let's open controlling. Because well, here we only we only have two transactions, but the first one it's just again the text is really clear. It, it gives us just a clear intention of what we can accomplish here because it's just saying assign a company code to a controlling area so again a really important transaction actually this one because uh, we will link a uh, company code 
that of course is the most important organizational structure uh, in financial accounting to a controlling area a really important organizational structure in controlling but the purpose is also for uh, that all the data will flow when when the users are you, like in the their to, in their day to day operations. Uh, for example, a user can just post something in FI, and uh, if it's for example a cost, we probably want that uh, in a cost center to be shown, and the flow of data will be just like automatic. So well, uh, now that we have finished just checking controlling, let's uh, close controlling and let's open Logistics General. Because here we have again a really important transaction that, but well, as you can see, the text is just assigned plan to company code. Uh, because again, this will be actually a link between two separate, uh, very separate modules of the SAP system, which is uh, at first they are separate, which is just financial accounting and then everything that has to do with logistics. So uh, in this uh, activity, when we assign a plan to a company code, we are actually creating a link uh, in which, again, uh, everything that happens maybe in a plant let's say a confirmation of a production order if it has to have an impact in financial accounting uh, th then that will happen uh, immediately and also indirectly the cost for example it could be shown in pro costing which is a section of controlling so well again uh, this happens on many level levels uh, but yes everything that is happening here in the in the assignment step it's it's similar and as we have been saying it's just a way to create these links. Now, um, again, all of this has to happen in the real world. So uh, there has to be a relationship between, uh, let's say, a factory and a company code, just just like a business office, uh, because especially even for taxation taxation purposes. But that's the point. Uh, in the real world, this relationship exists. So if the relationship exists in the real world, we have to come here and create uh, uh, that, that relationship using these uh, transactions.